Greetings, Dennis Daniels here. This is a uh, quick demonstration of Google Blockly. I've zoomed in quite a bit, so uh, right here, Blockly dash demo, blah blah blah. Uh, just do a search for Google Blockly. I want to show you that it can generate uh, JavaScript straight from a very simple counter tool. Um, essentially, it's going to count with x from zero to ten, and then uh, it's going to create a an alert window as opposed to a console log. Uh, let's go ahead and run it. Show you what it looks like. And it just goes through 10, blah, blah, blah. So it just goes through 10, 10, 10, 10. doesn't really do anything, but that's quite all right. It is the demonstration. Uh, the next part, of course, is the JavaScript. And right here, um, there is the JavaScript. And if I run the program, it'll work here as too. So actually you can't edit in here which is um, a bit of a bummer but that's on purpose. Here's Dart. don't know what Dart is. Here's Python and here's XML. So from block from pretty pictures you get code, JavaScript, Dart, Python, XML. Now, <clears throat> uh, there's lots here to explore, and I highly recommend uh, programmers and teachers alike to take a look at, um, at uh, Google Blockly. One thing that clearly is missing here, I must say, is that there's no way to save the uh, blocks. There's no way to save this right here. Uh, which is a bit of a bummer. I hope that the developers uh, continue their good work and offer a way to save these blocks in a meaningful format. Uh, obviously you can save this as XML or Python, etc. Um, so thanks to the developers and go play with Google Blockly. Let's see what people can produce. Thanks for watching. Happy computing.